Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday, where I tell you a little bit about my life and the chaos that is Kimmy. And you let me know a little bit about your life and we become true besties because that's my goal with this channel is not to just have it grow but to really connect with the people that I am, that are, have subscribed to my channel. And speaking of which, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. That would make me feel so much better because I really do want to grow this channel into something amazing. And the people I've met so far are just amazing. They're, they're amazing humans. And I really, really appreciate all of you so much. So I haven't done a What's Up Wednesday in about two weeks. And the reason why was there was a lot going on for the last two weeks. Uh, the first thing was my sissy got a notice that she has to be out of her house by September 30th. They're knocking down the building. And she's going to actually come and stay with me. So I don't know how that's going to work video-wise because I only have a two-bedroom apartment with... Now, what will be one, two, three, four, five people living in my house? <laughs> so, um, and her other son, her younger son, is going to go to Chicago and stay with some friends for a while. And hopefully, she'll find a place. We have some feelers out right now. Um, but hopefully, she'll find a place by August, I'm hoping. Um, and she can stay with me during that time, not have to pay rent, not have to do anything like that. She just has to cook for me every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Um, because she's my sissy and I love her and I wanna help out in any way that I can. And, you know, I already have her older son living here and my mom, so it's going to be a little crowded and hopefully I'll be able to do these videos because I've been really, you know, doing at least four to five a week. So I'd really like to continue to do that. I just have to find some place that's quiet where I can do that. Uh, the next thing that has happened was, oh, we got the water fixed. The plumbers finally came and that was a project because my landlord, I had to send him a little message and tell him that, you know, I was going to have to call, we live in a city in, on, in New York and we have a, there are two cities on Long Island and I live in one of the two. And I called my city hall and I spoke to the, was gonna speak to the building department and find out my rights as a tenant because the leak we had was for about six months. And then it took him about three months to come in and tell us what was wrong with it. They sent in what they consider plumbers that are not licensed. Um, and they had to cut a hole in the wall and fix the leak. And when they did that, we only had cold water. And then they came back a couple days later and the water was just like tepid. It was not hot at all. I call the landlord back and I tell him, listen, we need hotter water. You know, my mom has COPD and when she gets out of the shower, it's triggering her breathing because it's just too cold for her. And he sent them back and they told me that there was nothing they could do, that, 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 that as hot as they were able to get it was the hottest it could go. Now, we never had problems with the hot water, even with the leak. We, like, it was always very, very hot and we had really good uh, pressure and that seemed to be a problem then. I call up my landlord, I'm keeping him in the loop, not very friendly, but he said, okay, they're gonna come back there. They know exactly what's wrong with it. Why they had to leave then and come back, I don't know if they already knew what was wrong with it, but they did get it fixed. It's still not as hot as it was to begin with, but it's hotter than it had been. So we were really happy with that. You know, being able to take a nice hot shower, there's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> you know, before you come out and you were freezing and then I, with the air conditioning on, it was just a lot. So that, those were two things that happened. Um, we're going to be my ex-husband, who's also my caregiver, his birthday is tomorrow. 
and he's always complaining that hot sauces aren't hot enough for him. And I don't know if any of you have ever seen the um, TV show Hot Ones, but I got him a box of hot sauces and it starts off with uh, one that's two out of 10, the next one is six out of 10, and the last one is an 11 out of 10. So I wanna see the night of his birthday, the kids are taking him out for his birthday, they're gonna go out to dinner, then they're coming back to my house to have cake and I'm gonna have some chicken nuggets and have all of them try the different hot sauces because I wanna see if this really, really hot one, it's called the last dab, I believe, is going to be too hot for him because he talks so much crap about nothing being hot enough, you know? And I know the, the one that's like a two out of 10, I don't like hot sauce on anything, but I have had friends in the past that say it's delicious. Um, the, because it's not just heat, you know, but this last one is going to make him gag and cry. And I am so excited to see that. And I can't wait to see my sons try it as well. So that's going on tomorrow night. And then let's see what else is going on. Uh, yeah, so I think that's mostly everything. I dyed my hair the other day. I used a different color, so I hope you guys like it. Oh, I spoke to Sandy from My Nutty Nook, and she does something called Self-Care Sundays or Mask Mondays. I want to do Self-Care Sundays, and she said that came from Laura at Favorites with Laura, and, um... I've decided that I want to jump on the bandwagon and do this also because especially with having all these people here now, I'm going to need to really practice self-care and do my affirmations and things like that. So I really want to, I want to get their blessings, which I, I have. So I'm going to be doing a self-care Sunday where I show you that I'm dyeing my hair. Please do not dye it the way I dye it because I am just all over the place. I don't, not a professional. I just play one on TV and I just wanted to do my roots really. And I need two boxes and only got one box to do the whole entire thing. But I think I blended it out really well. Um, and you're not going to see it done in that video. So this is what the finished product looks like. And, um, that that's about everything. So I got their blessings and I want to give them the credit for it. This was not my idea. It's not an original idea, but I thought self-care Sunday is something that I really, really believe in. And I just think that everybody needs to take some time for themselves and do what it is that you enjoy doing. And if that's something like putting on your makeup or doing your hair or you know, gardening, writing down your affirmations, manifesting, whatever it might be, I think is a really good way to start. So I'm going to start on Sunday with my first video, and then we're going to continue that series and see how it goes. So for those of you who are going to join me, I really appreciate it. And for all of you who have supported me through my Timu hauls and things like that, <laughs> I really do appreciate you. Uh, I did one yesterday where I bought a dress and I tried on the dress and the dress was on backwards. It fits better forward. It really does. Like the back, I thought the ruching went in the front, but the ruching was supposed to go in the back. And I have a little, um, a little pinned comment saying, yes, I know I tried it on backwards. That's only like the second dress I've worn recently so i did not know how it was supposed to go and it wasn't until my sister showed me that i figured it out so you know please excuse my ignorance and not knowing how the dress was supposed to go on i really do apologize for that but it is kind of funny because i am not a dress person and it was very obvious by this video that i'm not a dress person so having said all that i hope you are staying cool wherever you are jersey is having some crazy weather i'm in new york um it is hot 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 this week is supposed to be uh in the low 90s you know um and i believe high 80s so hopefully it, it's calm you know we're getting breaking the heat wave cycle a little bit because for a while it was really really hot you know um when i do the mask on sunday 
and my hair on Sunday. I tell you that it was like 98 degrees that day with a feel like temperature of 105. So I hope you're all staying cool and staying hydrated and, you know, staying inside when you can and just taking care of yourselves. With that being said, that's all I have to say for now. Say a prayer for my sissy that she finds something. Uh, we're hoping she can find something by August. Uh, they only gave her three months to find something and you know, in the meantime, she's here. So hopefully she can find something soon. So any prayers in that department would definitely be appreciated. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you. And that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. You guys rock. Love you.